Okay, I want to show you how to use resistors in parallel as a current divider. So here I have some battery, and it's connected to two resistors in parallel, R1 and R2, and I pick values just for the fun of it, 10 ohms and 20 ohms. So I know here I have a current coming out of the battery, I, here I have I1, here I have I2. And I actually already uh, showed that in the previous video that this is the same as this. R equi equivalent, where 1 over R equivalent is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So it's going to be 1 over 10 plus 1 over 20 equals 3 over 20. So R equivalent is equal to 20 over 3 ohms. Now let's say EMF is 10, just, for, just to make it easier. Now I can, if this is 10 volts and I want to find the current I, I could say uh, EMF minus I R equivalent equals zero. So now I get uh, I is EMF over R equivalent. So that'd be 10 volts divided by uh, 20 thirds ohms equals uh, 30 over 20 amps. Amp. Now, how much of that current is going through here and how much is going through there? Remember that the junction rule says that I into that node is equal to I1 plus I2. So if I do this loop for my loop rule, I get uh, EMF minus I1 R1 equals zero. I can do that for this loop also. I get EMF minus I2 R2 equals zero. So let's solve for uh, I1. So I1 is equal to EMF over R1, if I just add that to both sides and divide by R1. Now for EMF, let's go over here. Let's, let's use this right here. Let's use this. Let's use EMF is I times R equivalent. So it's gonna be uh, I times R equivalent over R1. Now I need to um, I'm, I'm going to put back in my definition of R equivalent. So let's do that. I'm doing this the long way because I don't think things through all the time. So let's re see I have I1 equals I R equivalent over R1. And so 1 over R equivalent is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So let's just do this uh, as uh, get a common denominator and say R2 plus R1 over R1 times R2 is equal to 1 over R equivalent. So R equivalent is equal to R1 R2 over R1 plus R2. Now if I put this in up here I get I1 equals I times uh, R equivalent which is going to be R1 R2 over R1 plus R2 and then I have to divide by R1 and those cancel. So I get this is equal to I times R2 over R1 plus R2 and there's my voltage divider. I'm sorry current divider. So if now let's choose my actual numbers here. So if I have uh, I had R2 was 20 ohms, so I have 20 over 30. So this is uh, times I. So this is 2 thirds I. Now if I do it for I2, everything's the same except that I'm going to switch the R1 to R2. So I get I times R1 over R1 plus R2. And that's going to be equal to 10 over 30 I or 1 third I. So you see here, I did indeed split the current. So when I have this current coming in, this one is 
uh, two thirds of the total resistance. So two thirds of the total current goes through the other resistor. More current's going to go through the lower resistor. And the same thing is true over here. Uh, if let's say these two were the same, if they were both 10 ohms, well then half the current would go down here and half the, would go down here. Let's say they're one and four or one and three, no one and four. Then uh, one fourth would go through the four ohm resistor and three fourths would go through the other resistor. So that's how I can pick, I can pick these resistor values to get whatever current splits that I want. I can design the experiment. I can design a circuit to get a particular current based on the current coming out of the battery. Okay, and that's a current divider.